Hi everyone, hope you're all doing well and today I'm doing the 15 stocks I'm currently watching. Um, and the reason why I'm doing this video is that yesterday when I did the free stocks to buy series, um, there was just so many companies that I actually wanted to talk about and I just felt like I was a bit like frustrated that I couldn't talk about them all and uh, I think sometimes you guys enjoy it when I just do like one or two minutes just quick firing on a few stocks and stocks I'm currently watching. I watch like 400 stocks uh, weekly so um, yeah, hopefully you know you don't mind me sharing some thoughts on current stocks, some stocks I don't own as well uh, and just my thoughts on them and like I say, I want to talk about a few of these yesterday but uh, I, I wanted to give you like the best in my opinion the best opportunities but these are still you know like 15 really interesting stocks to me right now I think uh, I think you guys quite enjoy it every so often when I like just fire off like a quick round of a few stocks for like a minute or two so yeah hope that's all okay uh, not that you have a choice anyway but um, yeah uh, if you could smash the like button if you do subscribe uh, if you do want to know when I'm buying and selling any of these companies then make sure you join the patreon link is in the description and if you do want to start investing there's a link to some brokers in the description as well but we'll get stuck into these 15 stocks that I'm currently watching and uh, like I say I'll try to spend a minute or two on them. So first of all Palantir, so I covered this one actually on the channel, did a full video on them, about a 20 minute video, uh, I think it was about a week ago now. These guys are definitely really interesting to me. Um, I really hate it when I spend like five days looking into a company and then after that five days of looking into the company I don't end up buying it. <laughs> it's just something that plays on my mind but I am watching this one very closely because if this one is to drop under $20 and um, even get to the $15 range then I will consider picking up some shares and it could happen. Insiders are selling out on this one and also it's a recent uh, IPO. Uh, IPO or SPAC, I can't remember which one it is, I think it's an IPO, but recently come onto the stock market, um, insiders will sell out of it. This is the sort of stock that if the stock market goes down maybe 2 or 3%, Pantier will be a stock that goes down like 9-10%. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to take that into consideration, see if we get a dip and then I might consider to buy it. But I am watching this one very closely. I have, it's one that I keep thinking about every so often, you know. Um, every so often, you know, when, when you're on them like long drives, your mind kind of just off, just off and you start thinking about things. Normally mine ends up thinking about stocks. Um, and yeah, this one kind of comes into my head quite often and I think, you know what, such a unique business model. And I just think, you know, when you, it's one that you don't have to worry about that much competition with and yeah it's just one that I keep watching at the moment and uh, we'll see what happens you know if the stock market moves in my favour then maybe I'll pick some shares up if it doesn't move in my favour then I won't pick some shares up simple as that but uh, hopefully that valuation does come down a little bit more on it and then uh, we'll see what happens there but that's number one so next up is a company that I believe I've not talked about on the channel before on Patreon I have talked about it I actually put a full post about this uh, about this video uh, about this video about this company on patreon uh, celsius so basically i wonder if very quickly i can just find a image for you guys so celsius this this is it this is a drink company and basically these guys are like the energy drinks but rather than going for like the uh, red bull and monster they're kind of going for that sugarless taste um and yeah i actually really wanted to try the products but they're currently not in the uk i found one website which was these guys and it worked out it was like two pound a can and then it was ten pound delivery and I was like okay I'm not going that far to try the product on a, on a stock that I'm not massively fan of at these sort of prices you know you give me some a, a better price I might consider it but the first thing that caught my eyes I, I, I heard about this one mentioned quite a bit and I am kind of like you know if you're at this sort of range man you like destroyed it that's such a good purchase by uh, to buy in here but it's kind of dipped off the slow, slow recovery off here off the $40 range but it's coming back a bit but um, yeah, I, this one caught me. I pulled back recently, um, had a look into it, still struggled with the valuation side of it, but I am watching it closely. You know, if I get a good valuation, I might consider it. Uh, but yeah, it's one that I'm watching. The valuation does have to come down a lot more for me to buy, but I am. it's one that I'm watching. The only thing I don't like about this company compared to, uh, I used to invest in uh, Monster. And the thing with Monster is I was like, I think the branding is really good and I could see the demand. I look at Celsius and I'm like, yeah, it looks all right and I've seen good reviews about it, but I just doesn't have that. I'm just not looking at it like a, a monster. When I saw Monster Energy for the first time, I looked and I was like, yeah, this is going to be really popular. And then I look at Celsius and look at their branding and their cans and I'm like, I'm still not sure on them. Um, so yeah, one that I'm watching, put it that way. Maybe it's, you know, I don't know if you guys want a full video on this one. Maybe I can do a full video on this one if there's the, the demand here. But that is uh, another company that I'm watching. Next up, this is definitely the one that I'm watching, like, <laughs> very often. Skills. Um, yeah, this is, I mean, just look at that. I mean, such a crazy run up and then bang. You know, it's just, I mean, it's lost another half its value and, yeah, skills for me, uh, it's just one that I'm watching, trying to buy often, you know, $17, 
I think this is just really, really good prices. If we keep buying at these sort of prices, I'd be really happy. Now, I did make a full, I'm not gonna spend too long on this one because I did talk about it for like a good 10 minutes, maybe not 10 minutes, but nearly 10 minutes. You get you get where I'm going with it. Um, but I talked about this one um, qu uh, quite a bit yesterday. But one thing that I actually mention, did not mention, or I forgot to uh, mention, um, is that they actually brought uh, their Q1, here we go, the Q1 out. And I didn't mention this, you know, um, the, at the moment, you know, one of the attacks on the short report, which caused it to go down so much, was saying that Q1 was going to be so poor for skills, and they've kind of been caught. But um, skills actually came out. I, I'm a bit frustrated actually as well at the same time because I know they had to prove the short report wrong. But the problem is, is that when they let this information out, normally when Q1 does come out, um, it's awful <laughs> because the, the, everyone kind of knows what's going to happen. Uh, but yeah, we did have um, Q1 estimates released early and it is looking that um look q1 revenue 80 million versus 76 million which is very very good so um yeah i mean I, I, when was that the 25th of march and the shares were down five percent pre-market so even q one's looking good on this company and uh yeah the short report said it was gonna be bad but i forgot to mention that yesterday i should have mentioned it uh but yeah i just thought i'd mention that on skills and uh one that i'm watching um, next up, one that I talked about yesterday again, so I won't spend too long on this one again. But here, yeah, um, I'm looking at probably buying a few. I mean, just look at that. It's just such a crazy run and it just f fell off a cliff from $33. Absolutely insane. Um, and at $18, I think it's a strong buy. Um, in typical fashion, I recorded the video about free stocks to buy yesterday. And wouldn't you know, some news came out uh, about the merger. I wonder if I can just quickly get this up for you. Uh, but basically, it is saying that basically there's been no progress made on the merger. Um, here we go. Uh, Do you falls on report that little progress being made with China antitrust authorities on Huya deal? Um, yeah, uh, it, so yeah, it looks like the merger is still nowhere closer, which is kind of annoying from an investor point of view. But at the end of the day, I just want them to get it sorted, whether that is through the Huya merger going through or Do you merger going through, or they just don't happen. I just want, like, me and investors just want, you know, we know where we are, let's move on because it has been going on for a few months now. So hopefully we get some outcome um, in the next few months. Um, and yeah, that's, you know, all I'm gonna say, it's just funny that that news came out after recording the video as well. So yeah, we'll see where that go that happens, you know, but I just want them to get it started. So yeah, um, next up we have got, I'm just looking at my list there, these guys. You might have heard of them. Alibaba, whoa, we don't want that one. Wrong listing, there we go, NYSE, Alibaba. So this one's kind of like snuck past me a little bit. Like there's just a lot of Chinese stock hate out at the moment. You know, we, we get it like once every year. Uh, and these guys, yeah, down at $220, which is really interesting. It's always a bit choppy, Alibaba. It's always a, a nice target for the uh, Chinese stock haters. And yeah, it's on a little bit a dip at the moment. You know, I'm considering buying some. But yeah, I didn't really realize how much that's dipping down at the moment, one that I'm considering. No, it's a, a company that's still growing at like 35% revenue growth. Uh, yeah, it's just, just so, so, so dominant uh, at the moment. Next up, um, these guys have been on my list to look into for a very long time and I've still not got around to it, but I need to because this company at the moment is currently on a massive dip. The PE at 40, I think the forward P is like uh, 42. So yeah, I'm watching these guys very close at the moment. I could have maybe bought around this, you know, $75 range or when it had this little dip here, uh, but it's still not crazy, you know, it's on my list to do a full deep dive into. Uh, the only reason why I've not done a full deep dive is that I spent like seven days looking at Teledoc and five days looking at Palantir. And unfortunately, there's only one of me and a million stocks out there to look into. So uh, somewhere, you know, you do have to prioritise which uh, which company you do look into. And uh, unfortunately, this one's been the one that um, I haven't prioritised at the moment. Uh, and then the next up, I'm going to have to try find the actual SPAC company, because this is a SPAC that I'm going to be talking about in a second. Um, here we go go is it going to come up this is what happens when you use google charts <laughs> um can we get the yahoo we could go on yahoo finance okay here we go uh so cf finance acquisition call so these guys are actually merging with a very interesting company um i cannot believe that this has sold off this much um 
but yeah, th these are gonna uh, merge with a company called The View. Um, and basically these guys, View, have smart glass technology, which basically can go into like corporate buildings and these corporate buildings, like they can go tinted windows to help with uh, heating. Um, but yeah, th a very interesting company. I'm very sorry that I should have really checked this somewhere so you could have um, a better look at the company rather than um, if I get this article here. So Smart Glass make a view to go public. Uh, but yeah, th these guys are very interesting. I might, I you know, it's not often you see like this back happen and like it's still at $10, but yeah, one that's really interesting to me at the moment. Um, maybe might be worth a uh, full video on it. Um, the next up is eToro. Now these guys are currently, once again, these, these are actually um, a SPAC at the moment, but I have not really said anything. Um, but yeah, I've started buying shares in these guys. Um, I've not made a video about it. I've not announced it on the channel at all. Uh, only the guys in the Patreon have known until now, but yeah, uh, FinTech Acquisition Corp. Um, yeah, I've started buying shares in uh, them guys because they're gonna merge with eToro. And I think eToro is like a really good investing platform. Uh, the only reason why I don't think it's that popular in like the UK side of it is because we've got trading 212 and free trade which offer ices but everywhere else like these guys are doing really well eToro because you know they've got the copy trader the, the community side of it's really good uh the crypto side of it's really good um and i think they'll just really boom with what's gone on and more and more people investing recently so yeah i think it's a, a great investing platform so yeah i've been buying these actually like probably three weeks ago but yeah i've just never said anything on the channel um, and yeah, only until now, Patreon members know that this is one that I've been uh, buying. So yeah, uh, thought I'd let you know. So the next one is Curiosity Stream. So this one kind of caught me eye a while ago, but I was like, just focus on Disney Plus. But this this is like a, a streaming company, but focuses on documentaries at the cheaper end of the price structure. I think it's like two dollars and ninety nine for like a monthly membership. Um, yeah, trading at thirteen dollars, it went all the way up to. Uh, 22 dollars and it sold off at the moment 42 percent um and yeah the guy behind this is basically the guy i think it's i think the whole brand's like the discovery channels uh, and basically yeah documentaries um and yeah it, it's like a cheap streaming platform going for mo mostly focusing on um documentaries and yeah, the growth side of it looks pretty good. I believe they've got earnings coming up soon. And yeah, it's one that I am watching on, on this tip for sure. Um, be interested to see how these guys do, but it's one that I'm probably gonna look back in, uh, into a little bit. So let me know if you guys are interested in that one. Um, I know if you guys are picking this one up. Um, Affirm, so this is a buy now, pay later stock. Um, it's sold off since its IPO. Um, it did really well on the IPO. Uh, it was up huge, but now it's starting to come down a little bit. Very interesting company, very good growth. I do like it. Still very too much near the IPO for me. Um, it would be one that I'd be more interested in picking up probably around the back end of the year when more of the IPO runs out. But $70 isn't bad. It's not too bad. So yeah, it's one that I'm watching that I won't buy just yet. Uh, but yeah, it's had a big massive sell-off. So it's one that I'll keep an eye on. Uh, I've seen a few of you guys actually starting to mention that one. So I think a few more of you guys are looking at that one. Um, Ehang has earnings coming up, so that'll be very interesting. But look at that, you know, the hit on the short report, and it's just, it looks like it's kind of calm, finally calmed down a little bit now, which is really good. So, yeah, um, for me, Ehang is just, you know, if drones take off, this will do very well. And it's just like, buy now, lock it away, and see where it goes. And that's all I'm going to say to that one. Um, very quickly, I'll mention this one, I spent like 10 minutes on this one, but Teledoc, of course, is one that I'm watching. Um, you know, like I say, 180, if we stay here, that's my first bullet. Second bullet is at 150. My third bullet, bullet is at 120. We'll see if I uh, only shoot once or if I shoot three times. We'll see what happens with that one, but obviously that's one that I am watching very close. Um, next up, Beyond Me had a bit of a rough day, down 3%, but yeah, I think that, honestly, when this one uh, comes back, um, on the food service side of it, which I think will be Q3. Don't worry, this won't be down at this this price range for that long. So yeah. Um, next one, 
Eli Stock, Calloway Golf. I've heard more and more positive things about this one. The venues that I've heard about at the moment, they say they are very, very popular. And that just builds my confidence that the earnings, the Top Golf merger, will be amazing when we get the first information about it. And then when normality comes back, it'll be even more crazy. Um, I think the new one in Dubai has just opened up, heard it's very busy. And also if you look at the reviews, um, some of the reviews say um, about the long wait they had to do, which is kind of like, it's bad that they're the leaving some bad reviews saying they had to wait so long. From a business point of view though, it is good that you've got people that are waiting one hour, two hours to get served because it's that popular at the same time. So you can tell you that either way, you know. Better to not have negative views, but it's good to see that um, it's, it's very popular since they've opened it up. And last one, Gang. So Gang is back down at $19. Um, I think, and I don't like making short-term short predi predictions, but I really think Q1 could be a game changer for this company. And if it is, I don't think we'll have Gang at these sort of valuations that much longer. And that's all I'm gonna say from here. Um, from what I've seen at the moment, yeah, it looks really positive. So we'll see. I'm just gonna say that there, it could be one of the last times to pick Gang up at $19 when that Q1 comes out. We'll see what happens. Uh, but yeah, those are the 15 stocks I'm watching at the moment. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Like I say, hopefully you don't mind me doing a minute or two on 15 different companies, giving you a few to look at. Some that I've never talked about on the uh, channel before as well. Um, you know, Celsius, um, View, eToro, um, the uh, Curiosity Stream one. Um, yeah, hope you don't mind me throwing some new ones at you uh, and hope you enjoyed it. And let me know if there's any of them that have kind of caught your interest as well. Uh, or you've started buying a few of them, that'd be absolutely amazing. But as always, smash the like button if you're new, subscribe, uh, and I'll see you on the next video.